Uh, let me check my shite. What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> yeah, just just this a little bit. That'd be a good little intro right there. <laughs> All right, 39th episode, Poor Choices Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Chris, my co-host, David. And to Emma Stone, Sal Volcano, Ethan Hawke, Sally Field, and Aaron Hernandez. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's make some poor choices. The fridge keeps them pretty cold. That's that one. <laughs> Fuck. Subscribe. What's a Sal Volcano? Sal Volcano? Oh yeah, that. He's a. Uh, he's the chunkier dude. From Impractical Jokers. Oh Sal, okay. Yeah. All right, I want you to give me one Sally Field movie since you named her. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire. Bam, that was the only answer. Good job. And let me tell you, the absolute oh, only got- reason I know that. Oh oh oh. What? You good? Oh, we got chunks. Woo. You got some Sal Volcano in there? Man, this... Ooh, ee, ooh, ooh. So the, the absolute okay. only reason I know that is because Mrs. Doubtfire was on two nights ago. Oh. All right, give me uh, the movie where she's the animal of a, a voice of an animal. No. It's a cat. The Lion King. Uh, it's it's like real life, not animated. Cats. N- nope. Um, uh, the, the, uh, there's three yeah. of them, and they're on a they're on a journey together. Uh, the one oh. homeward yep. bound. That's it. There you go. Okay. She, she plays okay. sassy. Ah. Well, it had to be sassy if she's a cat, right? Sally plays sassy. Sally there plays sassy. Unfortunately, um, Aaron Hernandez won't be able to. Witness our birthday wishes. So. Not that the other ones would, but is it that bad? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Are you gonna make? You gotta go get some of that cleaning supplies out of the fridge. Oof. <laughs> Ooh. Goose fraba. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll take the hair off your chest. Okay. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Is that a good thing? Mm-mm. No, <laughs> no, no, no. You you like being a hairy man? Oh no, I meant like saying something takes the hair off your chest is not a good thing. Oh, I just where the I, other. I, I was asking if hair on your chest was. I don't know. I don't think you really have control over that like no i guess naturally you, can, you don't but you can yeah you just take care of it shave you know, or it's drink like some of like that some dudes can grow like there be it like right here my chin doesn't grow hair but everywhere else does right but is it like desirable like if you, i guess like, if you oh, want to really do... envy that guy's beard like is are there people that are like oh man i wish i could grow a um, chest like that like if i were to want to grow out like an andy beard i would desire that because then that actually Look, fills it in we're talking about chest hair here. Oh, chest hair. Um, like, do dudes see other dudes and they're like, I want that? No. The only thing I've ever thought of is when I had, like, I'll see somebody that's like their entire, like, upper arm, shoulders, and back are also hair. And I'm like, good Lord. That sucks. That's, ro- that's Robert. That, that, is it? Yeah. Just goddamn woolly mammoth, Bigfoot tooth. <laughs> Bigfoot tooth. <laughs> Big tooth, Bigfoot. It's like, yeah. oof. I think that's the only time I've ever thought about a a, a man's uh, follicles on his body. I'm just like, oh, outside of the face, outside of the face, yeah, okay. outside of the face, okay, or top of the head. You see some wear haircuts out there, and you're like, what are you thinking, dude? Yeah, I guess you'd think about that. Hmm. So I might uh, I might be on keg beer by the time we get to beer. I placed a. DoorDash order on the way home from Total Wine. Mm-hmm. And we've, this is the third DoorDash order in a row that we've had issues. So 
you know, going out of our neighborhood, you could take a left or a right on that big stretch of road. Oh, yeah. So when you go left, like right after the hurricane, there was like a huge puddle in the road and it just like wouldn't drain anywhere. So you would like, you could go five miles an hour in your hydroplane and through it. Mm-hmm. And then if you take a right, you had to take that next right at the light. You couldn't keep going straight because of the flooding. So they blocked that road off. So that finally opened up. But that puddle made, uh, what do you call that? Sinkhole? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Sinkhole. Okay. So now that road's shut down. Damn. And these fucking door dashers keep trying to go that way. So this time I <laughs> like I looked when I ordered and I'm like, okay, his route's bringing him the right way. And he was probably like, oh, well, I know how to get there faster than this. Uh-huh. So I saw a change and I messaged him and I was like, hey, can't go that way. You got to take Cross Creek all the way down and go north on Morris Bridge. And it said scene. And I was like, okay, well, he's driving. So whatever. Keeps fucking going. And then I see him <laughs> take the right and I'm like. I'm going to sit here and watch this. So I just watched on the map and it was just like cruising, cruising, cruising. And all of a sudden he starts slowing down, stops. And you see that little like vision cone turn. And I'm like, <laughs> that's what I thought, bitch. And then like five minutes later, it was like, your order's canceled. It's like, what the oh. hell? Hey, so he couldn't drive an extra 10 minutes around to come drop it off? <sighs> I'll tell you what, dude. So that's how my day's going. Damn. Well, I also, um, DoorDash Total Wine and, uh, it's like, Found a couple that I was like, okay, these these sound good. I've never had them, yada yada, and I and I order them, and uh, she messaged me and she's like, they don't have either of those, which always can happens at Total Wine, always happens. I'm like, okay, um, I just you know just like a fruity sour or whatever, and she's like, she sends back a message of IPA question mark, and I went, uh, <laughs> no, no IPAs, please. Um, uh, What's the name fr- like Yolina or <laughs> no, it was like shit. Michelle. Uh, and it was one like, L or two? Uh, two. Hmm. That's odd. It's like, uh, no, uh, fruity sour. If you just ask the staff, you know, they'll be able to point you in the right direction. So <laughs> then she sent me a picture of this, and I was like, that's fine. Go, yeah, go, go ahead. She's like, how many? And I was like, just <laughs> grab a four, just grab a four pack. Like <laughs> Pale ale? No, literally anything but an IPA. <laughs> I get a Bud Light whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited about my order too. One was like some strawberry yeah, cream pie same. thing, and then my next one. Was, Wait, I tried to order that one too. It was like, yeah. it was, no, mine was like a cherry shortcake. Uh, so, it was something I don't know. Okay, and then the other one was a pineapple strawberry habanero sour. I think they just post like stuff they have in their catalog, and then people show up, and either a they don't look enough for it or ask for it, and if it's not well, in the immediate what. vicinity, they're just like, oh, they don't got it. I'd rather I'd rather get something I didn't want than not get anything. Oh, actually, you know what? I went through Instacart instead today because I was like, Instacart's usually a lot better. They'll message you. They'll send you pictures compared to DoorDash where they're just like. Ah, uh, I should have done that. But the same thing. I was like, hey, they don't got it. I'm like, okay. okay. Yeah, I've got, I got mad DoorDash credits because the first time we ordered, they tried to go the wrong way. And I was like. And all of a sudden that was f-ing canceled. And I was like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? So I reached out and they were like, here's credits, whatever. This dude couldn't speak any English. Like, or he couldn't text any English. But it was hilarious because at one point, <laughs> at one point I said something and uh, like he wrote back, like, don't be upset or like, don't get mad or, <laughs> or something like, like that. The like the translation that's uh, uh, either that uh, or he just, yeah, his English. Uh, so we got credits for that and then reordered and it took like 20 minutes for, and 20 minutes went by and still no dasher was assigned. So I reached mm-hmm. out and like perfect English typing lady just was immediately like no dashers assigned. Uh, I'll go ahead and assign one and here's credits. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And then ordered again last night and same thing Damn. took like 20 minutes and no one. So I reached out. I'm like, look, this is getting ridiculous. Got another credit for that. That ended up getting here. And then fucking today reached out. They were like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Dasher said uh, obstruction or something. Something caused them to blah, 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 whatever, cancel. And I was like, yeah, it's a road closure, which I messaged them and told them. Also, he can just come a different way, even if he saw it's closed. So more credits. Mm hmm. But I mean, I'm thirst and starvation. (laughs) <laughs> you got a dash pass at least. Yeah. Yeah. We've, okay. Okay. It's funny. Cause they don't tell you how much money you've saved. They tell you like how many hours you've saved. And I'm like, 
No, no. Mine tells me money. Instacart tells me hours. Uh, maybe you have to look for it. Uh, yeah. Check your dash. Like go in and okay. like, yeah, I just on the checkout page, it's like you saved however many hours. And I'm like, okay, cool. I don't care if it's one or 30. Like I'm not going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I am staying here Yeah. and somebody's going to bring me my goddamn fajitas. I might've like, saved hours, but I'll, I'll tell you what I overspent on 28 bucks for a four pack at fucking total one. Yep. It was like 65 bucks for two four packs. I was like, Jesus what? Christ. Wait, wait a minute. What? Yeah. After like a 6% tip and. Yeah, no this, way. Because even on yeah. Instacart, my two four packs, because I only ended up getting the one, but my two was like 39, I think. Hmm. Well, I was driving. I didn't feel like looking. So I just saw what looked good and grabbed it. Oof. Maybe they're like made from like some kind of endangered species milk or something. Who knows? <laughs> prehistoric pineapple yeah panda pineapple plum uh, something potassium potassium per pregnant perganant yeah perganant there you go that's what it was perganant (laughs) perganant perganant yeah we'll have to we'll have to do like a react to that one one time uh it's so funny it's so funny okay uh well in not a transitional manner whatsoever. Yeah. Can you guess our top five Instagram reels of all time? I don't think I can, but I think I can get uh, uh, two or three of them. I think pretty okay. good. See what you um, got. So I know that the top is the um, uh, worst insults you've ever heard. Yep. What's the harshest insult you've ever harshest heard? Harshest insult you ever heard. I think that's hovering around the 400K-ish. Yeah, so all all the numbers I have are as of uh, about an hour ago. Okay. So that one's at 391,000. Come on, nine more. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Uh, 109 more. If we had half a mil, that'd be awesome. Um, or 609 more? You know what? It's, it's 1,109 get, yeah. more, you know, whatever yeah. you want to do. Um, okay. Uh, I. Uh, God damn it. I know it, but I don't. One of them is sports. It's the logos, hidden logos. Hidden right? logos is number three. Okay. At 207,000. Pretty darn good. You still haven't hit me with round two of that yet, by the way. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're, we're like, oh, Next that week. did Next so week. good. We're going to do that yeah. again. And yeah, just <laughs> remind. Well, then I, I posted that other one. That we didn't do, and I was like, "Oh, it did good. Let me just like make something." And it oh yeah, that yeah, great. Yeah. So, well, I think the good part with that one was I threw out that curveball of like I think that the Orioles' mouth is open, so it kind of threw in that like yeah, you know, some uh, controversy. Yeah, that's the word. There you go. Uh, not not this time, Eric. Uh-huh. I did it. <laughs> I did it, and I didn't sound like a pirate when I did it. So there you go. Yeah, um, controversy. Uh, uh, make right. controversy. Um, <laughs> Just throw me and everything in your pirate. All right, next one is gonna it's a me, be a Mario. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> All right, it's a me, a Mario. <laughs> it's a Mario. Yeah, okay. Give me your gold coins and I'll jump into your pipe. Um, that's like a male hooker. Give me your gold coins. Yeah. <laughs> An Italian pirate male hooker. Uh. Give me your coins and I'll jump into your pipe. All right, me and my brother lay pipe together. Our, um, All right, hold on, that's that's episode title, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your gold coins, and I'll jump into your pipe. Or you could just do Italian plumbing pirate. That'd be good. Yeah, I, don't know. I just Th- that could I, be the AI image you put in there. Oh yeah, I was gonna if I can associate the thumbnail with "Give me your gold coins, and I'll jump into your pipe." I feel like. I'm doing something right. So okay, okay. Anyway, as we were, um, there's another one that was either an Ask Reddit or a um, Shower Thoughts, something in that realm. Maybe. So, no, but yeah, you're you're on the right track. That's not the number two though. Mm. Give me a hint on the number two. It is not. In us original, it was something I recited to you that I had seen years ago, and you recited it to me, and then I reacted to it. Um, yeah, I mean, you reacted along the way, I guess. Man, this is so sad. I got nothing. 
It was how the Triscuits got their name. Oh, the Triscuits. I knew that. That one is number two at 252,000. Wow. Quarter mil, huh? Yeah. People want to know about those those damn Triscuits. (laughs) Um, uh, So the last one, number five. Yeah, sports and number four is something that we've done occasionally. Is the sports one an all-time draft? No, nah, is it a, how deal. these teams got their names? Yeah, it's it's a weird one. I think it's NFC South. It is NFC South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It's number five at thirty-eight point eight thousand. For some reason, like the shittiest division in football gets the most views. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and what was the fourth one you said? Was uh, what something we have done a few times um it's kind of like a us thing like we didn't come up with it but we've done it a lot even like pre-podcast let's see there's million dollars but it's along those lines was it the snail no along those lines though um this is like a like a would you rather it is a would thing. you rather mm. would you rather God, we've done a billion of them. I don't know. <laughs> it's the, would you rather be married to the hottest girl in the world, but always on her period, or use single-ply toilet paper for the rest of your life? Really? Yeah, so I that's feel like that. we have a lot better content than that short. And somehow that's too. number four, huh? Number four at 54.9 thousand. I mean, like we said, we'll take what we can get, but okay. Yeah. A little but surprised reason, by that one. The reason I wanted to ask you that is... Because I feel like I, I I was going through and it was like everything pre the insult one, it was yep. like thirty five hundred views max. Most of them like sub one thousand, mm-hmm. and some of my favorite ones were pre that. So I wanted to do one of those post that, and see if maybe they get a little jump. I'm gonna do one of those post that and see if they get a jump. Yeah, like what does I, that mean? That means we did these pre that video. Oh, I see now, what you mean. Now Let's I see if they do, do that better video post that video. Yeah. Okay, so what'd you have what you have in mind? Is? Any guesses Wait. what it is? Um, hmm. is it a is it some kind of rank or draft or is it a game? Is it game related? It's game related. It's guessing game related. It has to do with the shit that we've been talking about another podcast. Now I got nothing. Hit me. It is real or fake. Mm. Florida man news headlines. Okay. So I have 10 Florida man news headlines. Excellent. And you're going to tell me whether or not they are real or fake. I mean, these are 50 50. That's as wild as they sound. I have no shot at getting. They're my. Fa- I, I'll, I'll tell you what. My favorite might be the city names, just because those were so funny. But that was a good one. These are like consistently yeah. my favorite because it just. So you got you got ten right. I have ten. All right, I'm gonna shoot for getting half. Okay, I think half of I them think right. you can do that. Okay, I think you can do that. All right, the first one. Is Florida man spotted kayaking in flooded street dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow? I mean, it could, it could, yeah. <laughs> they could um, all dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow. So we already had to have this garb and, like, you know, I'm gonna go with that's real. That's fake. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Not uh, if I go out and do it. As of this recording, well, no, if you do it within the next week, I can. <laughs> I'll just find a flooded street and, you know, yeah, yeah, well, buy a kayak. <laughs> stop going out of town when the hurricanes come. All right. The next one Florida man caught driving booty patrol truck facing charges. Yeah, that's real. That is real. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One, one for two. One and mm-hmm. one, one for two. Okay. Mm-hmm. The next one. Drunken Florida man arrested after shoveling spaghetti into his mouth, yelling outside Olive Garden. So he was just like a drunk man with a bunch of spaghetti in his mouth, screaming? Uh, Yeah, I guess like screaming and 
Oh, like outside, like he didn't get the spaghetti from Olive Garden. Uh, Drunken Florida man arrested after shoveling spaghetti into his mouth, yelling outside Olive Garden. So he showed up. He said, I'll eat my own fucking pasta. Or maybe like on the way out, he... Oh, he had his to go and he was... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say it's real. That is real. Okay. It It sounds too tame for Florida man to be fake. (laughs) (laughs) Like, that's all all he did? Like, were there aliens involved? Right. Like, right, right. All right. uh, Two for three. Mm -hmm. The next one. Florida man climbs building, dives into pond, wrestles with crocodile, and survives. I'm going to go with, you said crocodile, not alligator. There are crocs, but they're Correct. typically in the Everglades, not like, I'm going to say fake. Okay, that's real. Damn. But I also want to add the Everglades are in Florida. Yeah, but I mean, it's not <laughs> like with buildings around it for people to jump into it. You know, right. It's just a vast open. So uh, that one was actually from like a a croc, like park like exhibit i think oh see that's cheating and i <laughs> can't jump actually, into a pond that you know there's a croc in like come on i actually have pictures i'll post for all the real ones and okay this one is a video so i have a video of this guy from their security camera Park officials found this surveillance video showing the man unstable on his feet climbing up a building and then check it out jumping into the crocodile pond you can see the man struggling with one of the beasts there. He was injured in that ordeal, bleeding heavily, but somehow fell asleep in the park before wandering away. As you might guess, he's now facing a whole lot of charges. In the Just park. like swan diving into the pond? like Yeah, like he literally, well, it's, it's not like a pond. Like think, uh, think outside, like you remember Fud Puck or Fud? Fud Ruckers. Pucker? No, Fud Puckers, the one in Destin or Fort Walton. It Is was that like right there on the on like the right when right you there? got on the island? Yeah, it was like on the left. They on had the like boardwalk. A, out, no, across from it and down maybe like half a mile. By like McGuire's or no farther down? No, before. So McGuire's is in Destin. Fudpuckers is on the island. So you go onto the island. You take that immediate right to go to Helen back. Instead of that, you drive oh, like a oh, mile oh, down oh, oh, and, oh, oh, and it's oh, oh. on the left. I gotcha. Um, but they're no. they're known for like. Ha- they the have place? alligators. Out. No, no, it's no. like okay. They have like an arcade there. Anyways, if, anyways, like out front of their restaurant, there's like I don't know, like a mini croc exhibit kind of thing. It's kind of like that. Like you see him like jumping into that, and then okay. like they swim over and they start wrestling. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the next one. So you're what two for four? Yeah. Okay. Next one, Florida man claims he can communicate with dolphins, tries to swim to Cuba. How does that correlate? Uh, I'm going to say that's um, fake. (laughs) That is fake. Okay. Very, very fake. All right. All right. Three for five. Need two more. Next one, Florida woman calls 911 over stolen weed, arrested for outstanding warrants. (laughs) I mean, real? It is real. <laughs> and and what's uh what are we going for? What is it? You've been getting bombarded with Amendment 3 commercials? Uh yeah. Oh my god, it's like every yeah. other commercial. Yeah. And the story behind this one was was pretty good. I should have wrote the stories down. She uh so much stole my weed. She was well, she was at a motel. It said hanging out with a guy she's known less than a week. <coughs> uh and I guess <laughs> went to grab her grinder and notice that like half a gram was missing or something. So the cops get there. She still has the weed on her and they're like, Oh, by the way, you have warrants out for your arrest. So (laughs) yeah, (laughs) she just wanted her justice for that. Yeah. That little bit that was missing. Right. All right. Four (laughs) for six. Okay. Next one. Florida man enters wrong home, falls asleep on couch, leaves apology note and $200. Hmm. Could definitely be real. Could definitely be fake. Could definitely be fake. I feel all of these could be one or the other. <laughs> yeah, we did establish that. I'm going to say it's yeah. real. Uh, that one's fake. Is it? Okay. It is. It was another one that felt a little too calm. That's why I kind of said real, but. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so we're four for seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one. 
Florida man breaks into jail to hang out with friends. Uh, that's, Real? Uh, that one's fake. Damn. That would have been really funny picture to see. Uh, I was trying to think, like, who of our friends would that be? That broke in or that were in there? That broke in. Uh, Shig. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you win, uh, and I was like, he's going to say shig. <laughs> and he, like, I could see him with that big eat, eating grin on his face. He's like, what's up, guys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got some Budweiser. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> some Taco Bell. Uh, all right, four for eight. Okay. Next one. Florida man steals two monkeys from zoo, claims he's starting an animal comedy channel. I'd watch that channel. That's definitely a real head- headline. That's fake. Damn. I'll be honest, I'm just going real here on out so I get my fifth. So Okay, okay. <laughs> Did I play you? I think you got one more real left in there. Okay, let's see. We're four for nine, and the last yeah. one is Florida man stops paying for rental car, uses it to give Uber rides. Stops paying for it and starts using it for Uber. Well, you should register with Uber. Anyways, uh, real. <laughs> that is real. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. You got You got All right. Five of ten, you hit the goal. That's good. That's good. Those were funny. I like yeah. the um, I like the lady getting arrested. That was pretty good. Yeah. So full disclosure. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I think that one and the last one, uh, the only images I have are like mug shots. No, that's fine. Um, that's kind of typically the picture they use on Florida Man headlines. Anyways, is yeah. like their mug shot. <clears throat> well, the one. I think it's an actual picture of the booty patrol truck. Uh, nice. The one's a video of that dude jumping in with the gators and uh, nine one one over stolen weed mug shot. What was the other real one? Oh, Olive Garden one. That might be mm-hmm. a mug mm-hmm. shot too. I think that is a mug shot. He, yeah, because I remember, I think he's got longer hair. So I'm excited to see those. That'll be good. <laughs> Pretty good, pretty good. That will be good, be good, be good. So the Booty Patrol, who was that quarterback? What was his name? General Booty? Uh, Yeah, something like that. Sounds I'm trying, just I'm trying to think if he's, uh, he's the one driving it. He's in college, right? Yeah, some yeah. like very small school somewhere. Yeah. I think he's, remember when you were over and I told you James texted me about like, <clears throat> Arch Manning blowing up teams. I think whoever they were playing that week, I think he's their quarterback. Okay. Okay. Because I feel like I looked it up and I was like, that's not a real name. <laughs> sure is. General Booty driving mm-hmm. the Booty Booty Mobile. Booty Patrol. Booty Patrol. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> You're excused. Excuse, excuse, excuse. Me scusi. Well, um, did you see um, Homeboy in the World Series try to pull... Mookie Betts glove off his arm. Yeah, that was pretty funny. That reminded me of uh, I don't know if it was when they played the Orioles, but like way back in the day, they like one of the fans like reached out like three feet and like. You're not talking about Tony Tarasco, are you? I don't know. Am I? When the O's were playing the Yankees and dude hits a ball and the fan reaches out yeah. over the fence and it hits his arm and goes into the fans and then Tony yep. Tarasco turns around stands up and points straight at him and he's like what the fuck and this is before yeah. fan interference and they're like nah it's a home run dude yep I think yeah. that is what I'm talking yeah. about Tony Tarasco in right field oh yeah hmm. here she was here she was this week we are doing the all time NFC South defensive draft correct <laughs> should say like this you ever listen to those videos and they're like and this guy you ever hear him talk like that and you just want to throw your phone and do like acid yep. yeah okay. uh-huh okay um so with my first overall pick nfc south at cornerback i had to do it prime time deon sanders <sighs> yeah I mean, as many years there as he was in Dallas, just as good as stats. I mean, it's a good pick. Yeah. I'm happy with it. Well, with my first pick, I'm going to take safety John Lynch for the Buccaneers. It's a good pick. It's a good, good pick. Um, I'm going to go with my second pick in that case. 
from Carolina at defensive line. I'm going Julius Peppers. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to go Lynch if you went Peppers. So it's, you know. Yeah, I know. But it's kind of. And my thinking was, well, there's other linemen, but the other linemen are Bucks. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. There's a Saint. There's a good Saint in there. Yeah. I mean, he's not as, I'd say, much of a veteran compared to these other guys, but he's definitely their best. All right. Well, with my second pick, I'm going to take linebacker Luke Keekley from the Panthers. It's a great pick. If I didn't take Julius, like if I took, if you took Julius and I took John, I was going to go Luke next. Yeah. So it's a good pick. Um, I'm going to stay in the linebacker realm with my third pick for the Buccaneers. I'm going Derek Brooks. As you should. Uh, with my third pick, I'm going to take defensive lineman Cam Jordan from the Saints. There you go. Yeah, that's a good pick. As far as the teams go and yeah. what you got. Uh, that leaves me with the all-time great safety from New Orleans, Tommy Myers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I had a Sammy spoiled Knight. cherry, Spoiled cherry on top. Oh, yeah? Is it Sammy over Tommy? Uh, per whatever I looked at. With my last pick, I'm going to take... From the Atlanta Falcons, cornerback D'Angelo Hall. Oh, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. Yeah, but you don't like him, huh? Uh, no, I don't. I don't hate him. It was Josh Norman that I hate. Oh, I fucking hate Josh Norman. Yeah, so I didn't. Take I wouldn't him. have even put him on my list. I would have rather taken Bobby Cooper than. Yeah, not not terrible. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with it. I think I three of my four are solid. Three of your four are solid. Yeah. I'm so happy with my rap. Wait, did you make mine rap too? They're both rap? Yeah, they're both rap. Oh, they are. Okay. Did you try it right? with anything else? Like heavy metal or country or like. No, I thought we were. No, no, we thought... were. But I'm okay. I, now I'm now I'm thinking like heavy metal would be pretty funny too. When the numbs hit the ball, <laughs> they lose control. <laughs> I'm just so excited for you to hear mine. All right, well, we finished our follow-on segment of how MLB teams got their names. Yes. We've concluded how NFL teams got their names. Yes. So with the NBA season starting, we are going to do how these NBA teams got their names. Nice. So we'll start with how these NBA teams got their names, the Atlantic Division. In this division is the Boston Celtics, the New York Knicks, the Toronto Raptors, the Brooklyn Nets, and the Philadelphia 76ers. Nice. Okay. First up, we have the Boston Celtics. Um, I mean, it's got to be like the Irish heritage of Boston, right? Yeah. All right. They all came over on the boats and, uh, you know, Celtics and Ireland and all that. Okay. (laughs) Leprechauns. It says Boston's franchise name was actually a personal pick of team owner Walter Brown in 1946. Brown was contemplating several different nicknames, including the Olympians, the Whirlwinds, and the Unicorns. And yes, <laughs> you did read that right. The Unicorns. Ultimately, Brown decided to go with the Boston Celtics, saying the name has a great basketball tradition from the old original Celtics in New York. And Boston is full of Irishmen. There you go. Let's be honest. Brown botched this one badly. The Boston Unicorns would have been world beaters. Uh, people beating their head into the so, cement yeah, that they had to root for them. All right. How about the New York Knicks? Um, it's, I guess it's a short for the nickname of a New Yorker, which is a Knickerbocker. But I don't know what that means. Okay. You said nickname of a New Yorker like you knew what that meant. Like the uh, Knicks is short for Knickerbocker? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know yeah. what Knickerbocker is. Sounds like uh, gibberish, to be honest. There we go. Knickerbocker. It says... Well, maybe cut that part. <laughs> it sounded <laughs> like I said something else. All right. It says, the founder of the New York Knicks, Ned Irish, is said to have made the decision to call his team the Knickerbockers, shortened to Knicks, back in 1946 when New York was given a franchise and the Basketball Association of America. The term Knickerbocker was a name given to Dutch settlers who came to the New World. Many of these settlers came to New York, so there's a lot of historical meaning behind the name and the region. 
but where did it? That's why were Dutch what? people called Knickerbockers? I would venture to say were, were they the ones that wore like wood shoes? Um, yeah, like Netherlands Dutch. Yeah, I, know, I feel yeah, like yeah. Knickerbockers. Like I don't know, sounds like a sound your wooden shoe would make. Good. <laughs> uh, yeah, descendant of the Dutch settlers. Yeah. It refers to the style of pants the settlers wore. Yeah, so I have a knickerbocker originally referred to a type of loose fitting knee length trousers that gathered just below the knee, typically fastened with a button or buckle. Uh, Known as knickerbockers or knickers. Oh, this is getting dicey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the. Uh... All right. Uh, the next one is the Toronto Raptors. So that's that's interesting. Either the owner or the fans voted. Either the fans voted or the owner's like a big Jurassic Park fan, or maybe there's like a spot up there that had like a lot of f- fossils. You know, or it's old. And stuff okay. and dirt. You're very close. Okay. Very close. It says when Toronto was granted an expansion franchise in 1993, the city immediately polled fans across the nation to determine what the team's new name would be. The final list of possibilities was filled with animal names, beavers, bobcats, dragons, hogs, etc. Beavers. <laughs> Imagine the them- beavers versus the unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go to that game. (laughs) Hell yeah. (laughs) But of them all, Raptors fueled according to... Hold on. Let me say that again. Let me read this. But of them all, Raptors fueled by the success of the movie Jurassic Park was chosen as the best. Way. That's too funny. Because I think Jurassic Park came out... 96, I believe. Oh, I guess not, because this came out in 94, you said? 93. Is that when it came out? No way. Well, I don't know. You gonna fact check? You gonna check? Yeah. It? Oh yeah, ninety three, June eleventh. There, there you go. Wow, that's really funny. Okay, the next one is the Brooklyn Nets. Is Nets on basketball hoops and they play basketball? <clears throat> The New Jersey Americans were one of the original members of the ABA in 1967. The very next year, the team moved to New York and renamed itself the New York Nets after, you guessed it, a basketball net. Which is much better than, say, the Swamp Dragons, which mm, there's a know. link to that. I don't know, I'm not going to click That's it. It's a pretty cool name. The team has moved twice since, back to New Jersey in 1977 and to Brooklyn that it says this year but i don't know when that this article came out so it's probably like four or five years ago and back to the brooklyn four or five years ago but have always kept the nets name yeah it's not that it's like uh it's the baltimore rims yeah well if uh you want something even less original Mm -hmm. how about the philadelphia 76ers they were established in 1976 that's all i got Oh, okay. was it something else? Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> he had, he, there were originally 76 people okay. when the franchise moved to Philadelphia from. Uh, You're close. Uh, they moved from Spokane, Washington. Okay. Mm-hmm. God, I can't wait to read. Can't wait to read this one. <laughs> when the Syracuse Nationals relocated to Philadelphia in 1963, the team was in need of a new name. The name, more like number, 76ers was chosen to reference the signing of the Declaration of Independence, which happened in Philadelphia <laughs> in 1776. <laughs> yeah, dude. It makes it a much better name. It good. makes us a much better uh, segment. Yeah. <laughs> Out of all people, I would have figured you would have been like, duh. I was like, ah, oh, they came out in 76. We're the 76ers. Yeah. Well, that's that. Welcome to the NBA. <laughs> I need a beer. A beer. Yeah, I need to pour my chunks out and get a beer. Yeah, when I poured out the bottom of the glass, it looked like uh, 
like I soaked a bunch of rusty nails in like solution and then dumped out that solution. What was the solution? Rust. Oh, uh, rustoleum. I don't know. What do you soak something to get rust off? Paint remover. I don't know. You know what? I'm getting my. Uh, what did I need? Zinc. There you go. I'm getting my metal. Zinc, in yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Get my Who iron. for that? Mom. Mom. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of your mom. You don't feel well? Here's zinc. Thanks. <laughs> Speaking of your mom. Yeah. Did she ever she ever find any of your condoms growing up? Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No? Mm-mm. I remember one time when my mom found one of mine. Uh, she was doing laundry. And yeah, back when we used to keep them in our wallet because we thought that was safe. Cool. Cool like and safe, what? yeah. Yeah. You and saw it on TV, doing, you know. Yeah. She was doing laundry and found it. She said, uh, David, it's like, came out of my room. She was like, yeah, you gonna be, oh, I held it up. You going to be needing this? And I was like, honestly, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I said, like, you can go I, ahead and throw it away. But once I get the subwoofer in and tent that yeah, windows, oh, yeah. I'm going to need that back. Yeah. Otherwise I'm going to get AIDS because I'm going to be fucking dudes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> The first subs God. were duels, dude. <laughs> oh not not impressive. Yeah, mine was Sam's Market. <laughs> subs? Get it? Because it's like, uh, yeah. Anyway, I thought you said Sam's Club, and I was like, they sell subs? They probably do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But no, been been on the on the duty. I had okay. Kind of the same old shebang. Um, they got some new maps, which was nice to see, but. Every map is like the size of your kitchen, so it's not the greatest. Is it another uh, like Black Ops one or another like Modern Warfare? It one? is. It's Black Ops Six. If that makes you feel old. Uh, what's the one that I still play? Mm, do you play the Cold War one? Yeah, that's what it is. So that's a Black Ops game. So is that like four? Or uh, that's like five. Okay. So now mm-hmm. it doesn't make me feel old yet. Makes me feel old because Black yeah. Ops well, One. You played we, for we were like yeah. eight, eighteen. Yeah, I will yeah. say it, it's funny though. I saw a commercial for it the other day, mm-hmm. and uh, you know they always pop up like the reviews and shit on the screen. And it was like one of them that popped up. I saw said like the best call, the best Call of Duty in years or something Absolutely like that. Not. And well, I maybe, was like, maybe, yeah. Well, my thinking was they post that every time one comes out. It's just a it's it's just a different magazine that says it. Like yeah, this magazine thinks it's the best one in years, and then and the they next alternate time one each year because yeah. this year Black Ops is a Treyarch game, and the next year it'll be Ubisoft, right. and so on yeah. and so forth. And it's just yeah, they haven't been good in a long time. I'll just say that. I enjoy Cold War still. Well, you would like this one. Um, it's just uh. A lot of sweaty motherfuckers out there. I'm just trying to like hang out and just like shoot some people and run around and like, man. I was, it's funny because I always tell the the little bit of time that I do have to still play, I'll like sit down and I'll play and you know it, it'll be like when Kayla's sitting there feeding Zoe, mm-hmm. and like sometimes I light it up. It's like twenty thousand points, and then sometimes I'm just like, what the fuck? And every time I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like. Oh, it's Friday night. The fucking the nerds don't yeah, have school tomorrow. That definitely helps or doesn't yeah, help. Uh, yeah. And then whatever algorithm they have built into who you match with. Because back in the day, it used to just be totally random. So you could get a f- room for the next three hours full of people that suck. And you just yeah. own them the whole time. Where this one, it started like you said, is like matchmaking. Oh, bullshit. he just got 20,000 points. Let's put him in with some higher ranked guys. And, yeah. Well, no. The, the, uh, so that's a different day. Like Wednesday, I'll get 20,000 points. And then. You know, Friday night, I get like three and I'm like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. No, it's definitely true. So I, I like to play early in the morning. I usually don't play at night because that's when the whole fucking world's on. So I like yeah. to play like between like six and like noon. Right. Play for a few hours in the morning and, and then call it a day. Yeah. Call it of duty. Call of duty day. Call it of duty. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons, or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. Well, this week on my Ask Reddit, I have, what is a thing you can recite from memory? Um, a lot. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we already know I can do the Austin Powers, just the two of us rap. Yep. For me to lay it uh, down again, I can. Insert uh, okay. yeah. here. Uh, insert. Oh, hold on. I got to insert. <laughs> insert here. Uh huh. From the moment of heart for Al. Say I had a clone. I knew that I'd be safe because I'd never be alone. An evil doctor shouldn't speak a lot about his feelings. My heart and my pain don't make me too appealing. I know Scott. Look up to me. Okay. Uh, a lot of Little Wayne songs from back in the day, like one will come on. And then all of a sudden I realize I know every word. So yeah. a lot of lyrics, definitely for music, because I listen to a lot of music. So lyrics, I'll just say lyrics in general. Okay. Um, actors, uh, movie quotes. Um a lot of geography stuff. Uh, I don't eh. geography stuff. I don't know if that's like reciting. Oh, that's true. That's just kind of knowledge, I guess. Reciting, reciting. Um, I guess eh, it can be. I guess because you are. I'm sure by definition reciting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's I, probably the m- most of it. Is like media based stuff. Yeah, I can, rec- I can recite a lot of a lot of movie quotes, a lot of lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Mine was like Harry Potter movies, but I don't know if I could do that from memory. Like I have to be watching it, and you know it's coming. Yeah, and boom. But if you were like start now, like I don't know if I could tell you the. Yeah, no, you get me going on a movie, and like I know quotes from it. I'll just keep. Yeah. It's something that I just did growing up with, like family and friends, is like we would just say the same shit but like crack right. up over it like the same yeah. jokes the same nonsense a lot of lines from uh super troopers okay so m- definitely super troopers for sure yeah. um monty python and the holy grail is a real big one for me bad boys too um dumb and dumber it's a real big one uh these guys behind me back to the future and the goonies Lots, tons of movies. You know, I'm yeah. a movie guy, so tons of them. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, you'll probably relate to most of these, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. That's, I don't <laughs> know if that's to brag about, though. The Our Father? Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> those, those were both on there. I don't know if I wrote them down, but those oh, were both okay. on there. Okay. All right, so the first one I have is the opening song to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, definitely got that. Yeah. I'm, there might be a few times where I go. <laughs> <laughs> In West Philadelphia, you know, when they uh, where they signed the Declaration of Independence. Oh, you know what? It's so funny you asked this question. I didn't so, ask a question. Or this, you, this ask Reddit. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So last night, just in the, the bowels of YouTube, just laying in bed, like before I go to bed, I was... um. I was watching an episode of Big Bang earlier that night, and Bob Newhart came in. He's like the really old science guy on the show, but he's a longtime old school comedian. Um, he's like Papa Elf in the movie Elf. That's like in the North Pole. That mm-hmm. guy. Um, and I was like, oh, Bob Newhart. I remember my grandma used to like let me listen to his tapes, and then I was like, oh, and Bill Cosby too. And I was like, oh, the Bill Cosby chocolate cake skit. That's like my favorite one of my favorite skits ever. So I pulled it up on YouTube and it just like, before he even started saying stuff, I was like, I know what he's going to say. He's and how he says it. And like, it really kind of blew my mind that I remembered stuff from like super early elementary right. school, listening to it on cassette in the car. Shit. That's like buried in the depths of your yeah, brain. But I like, I was like, I didn't miss a beat. It was so good. Sorry to interrupt. No, that's it. That makes me think of other stuff. I'll have to, let me write that down. Cause Bill Cosby chocolate cake. If you've never listened to it, check it out. Old school comedy, but super funny. And it's like before he got in trouble, he was probably doing stuff already. But you know. Well, that's what I, I thought you were going to say was um, like right when you started watching it, you felt like dizzy and lightheaded and like you, like you were. <laughs> I felt this sweater come <laughs> like over me. you were me. falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. The next one I have is R1, R2, L1, R2, left down, right up, left down, right up. Yep, that's in there. I got that. Yep. Now, is it knowing it? In, unless, like, just like you just said it there, I wouldn't have thought of that. But as soon as you started saying it, I was like, oh, I know that. Yeah, is I that, think so. Because if I was like, it? yeah, because if I was like, what is the Grand Theft Auto weapons cheat? 
Yeah. You would or have been when like we're watching this. Harry Potter and like we start quoting it, like we wouldn't have done that. Like we just continue the quotes. Yeah. Even though if we well, weren't sometimes watching I it. do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So I think last episode, I, I what did I say? I was like, uh, oh, that's that and no harm done. <laughs> no harm done. <laughs> uh, the next one I have is the preamble. The preamble? It's we the preamble. people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. And that's all I know. Pledge allegiance to the flag. <laughs> That's all I got. The student said pie to at least three digits. <laughs> the first sentence of the Emancipation Proclamation. Four score in seven years. Yeah, ago. yeah there you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, this one said the Animaniacs theme song. Animaniacs. That's all I know. Yeah, I, know. I, I know the tune, but I don't know the words. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The next one says. My baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My that's baloney. Good. Yeah, you get it. That's, yeah, you that's put the a whole good lyrics, one. but. Oh, uh, I wish <laughs> I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I truly like to be. Oh, that's deep in there. That was a good one. Okay. To the next one says, My Miranda writes. Damn. <laughs> or lack thereof. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Uh, next one says, every line of my ex's last breakup speech, it's permanently burned into my brain. And honestly, it's a better monologue than anything I've ever seen on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you should submit it to some writers, man. Like, maybe you'll get it up there. Right? Uh, the next one is called J.G. Wentworth. Oh, 877, 877 Cash, cash now. now. Yeah. I have a structured settlement <laughs> and I need cash now. <laughs> Call J.G. Wentworth. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, a lot of these old school jingles. What's the, um, what's the, um, um, call 1882300 Empire, Empire today. today. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, all these old jingles. Ooh. There was another one. Uh, I think the company's by BWI. It's like a water. Oh, water? this is. This a water place? I'm doing typing in my notes jingle segment and I'll start a jingle for you next time and then you got to finish it. Okay. I can see it now. I'm sitting in Texas next week and you're like, I don't know what it means, but I wrote jingle segment. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm typing <laughs> in specifically what it means. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I start jingle. David has to finish the jingle. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me see. Water company. Jingle Maryland? I typed in jungle sediment. I don't know. Jungle (laughs) jungle sediment? (laughs) Yeah. It's like gorilla shit. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I remember the commercial, dude. I'm going to have fucking J.G. Wentworth in my head all goddamn night. Oh, (sighs) Scardina. Remember? Scardina. Oh, yeah. Don't ruin them all. I'm going to get some good ones. It was like a fat chick dressed in like a Viking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, the next one is the lyrics from One Week by Bare Naked Ladies. One week since I looked at you. Uh, yeah, a lot of lyrics, a lot of lyrics. Yeah, yeah. This one was very impressive. This person said all 279 incorporated cities in Michigan. That sounds like a long day. Like, how are you gonna? <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like a lot of long days. Like, how long yeah. did it take to remember that? That sounds rough. And the last one is actually a tongue twister slash oh, a I joke yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I, that okay. I want you to try to answer. Okay. If a bra is an upper topper titty flopper stopper and a jock strap is a lower decker pecker wrecker protector, what do you call a Japanese drum boy whose dad has diarrhea? I have no idea what. <laughs> a slap happy jappy with a crap happy pappy. <laughs> Uh, if you didn't have the word Jappy in there, it could be the episode title. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do with it. Yeah, okay. A slap so, happy Jappy with a crap happy pappy. So you know the um, the skunk and the stump one? Mm, no. Ever hit you with, with that little tongue twister? All right, let me see if I can do this. I haven't done this in a while. <clears throat> All right. A skunk sat on a stump. The stump thought the skunk stunk. The skunk thought the stump stunk. Who stunk, the skunk or the stump? 
Ooh. That Both I had to like I'm I'm sweating from like <laughs> I think it's you that stunk. That took all my brain power to just get that out. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that's funny. Is there an answer or is it just something? Uh, you the say? skunk. The skunk stunk. Okay. That's what I figured. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's it. That's all I got. That's uh, all the slap happy, jappy pappy crappies I have. I like that. That's good. Uh, so this week on Ask Reddit, I have what common product has a feature you're not sure everyone is aware of? iPhones. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do happen? I click here. Yeah, I'm just like <laughs> super, super. Uh, I'm just waiting for the day I get a text like, David, did you know these things can call people? <laughs> I feel like, like Patrick. Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, the internet, I think that's a good one. Technology just in general, just the general public's know yeah. of all the features and possibilities that's sitting in their pocket. Yeah. Right. Um, the first one I have is Barilla Pasta has a Spotify list. Each specific song has a duration to match the relevant pasta's cook time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's... <laughs> oh, here's a technology one. The Bluetooth on your phone can be used to connect wireless headphones so you can watch videos on the bus without being an annoying twat. Ah, okay. I get it. So, to that, <laughs> I got uh, it. <laughs> there's also the, uh, like the, the drop-in feature mm-hmm. where, uh, what was it? Like, you can... It's something like like say you're at a restaurant with people and you got to go to the bathroom like you can leave your phone and like turn on the drop in thing and like go to the bathroom and you'll hear what they're saying like in your headphones like you don't have to call anyone or anything it's just like a oh. drop in yeah so like if they're talking shit about you you'll hear them oh so fun fact let's see uh caulking guns have a little hole in the grip to cut open the tube and trim the nozzles that would have helped me so many times. Mm-hmm. There you go. Um, this one I didn't know. I'm sure most people do, but most car fuel gauges have a little arrow pointing to the right or left to indicate which side the tank is on. Helpful for rentals and other strange cars. You said you I, didn't know that? I did. Did. Okay. Okay. On most phones, you can scroll the cursor around in text by sliding your finger left or right on the space bar. See, I knew that one. Uh, U.S. highways with odd numbers go north, south, even number go east, west. Yeah, I knew that. Okay, but that's also not a product. Nope. Well, okay. I mean, we had to build... Anyway, yeah. <laughs> a wall. <laughs> Let's see. Turning your thermostat up to 105 won't heat your house up to 78 any faster than sending it to 78. Prove it. Yeah, right. Hmm. Let's see. Phones have a speaker at the bottom or at the top and a microphone at the bottom. You can hold it between your mouth and ear and can listen to the other person and talk at the same time. Much better than holding it away from your face and moving it between your mouth and ear. <laughs> I was wondering where that was going. That was that was close with the, you texting me saying, did you know these things also call people? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure people know that cars have turn signals. Um, aluminum foil, plastic wrap, etc. have tabs at the end. Keep it, keep the roll from coming out. Yeah, it's. I did know that. It's not that bad. Just uh, like somewhat recently knew that. Toilets have a little shelf for your chocolate milk and comic book. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate milk. <laughs> so random. Um, bottle openers can also open jars. I've never tried that. Okay. In, in theory, right? Yeah. That's. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Let's see, we, we had a dishwasher a couple of years ago before we saw on Instagram that you can move a rack lower to make space for certain stuff. <laughs> Welcome to 1980. <laughs> yeah, also, you can do that. You, you can do that in your oven too, bro. <laughs> also, you said we had a dishwasher and I immediately thought like, was his name Manuel? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see. The iPhone calculator app will let you delete numbers by swiping the number you want to delete to the left or right. Has saved me a lot of time to not have to start a calculation. Let's see, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Hmm. <laughs> I always restart. 
<laughs> oh, wow. Uh, let's see. Oh, another phone one. Many phone models, sadly fewer now than five years back, have an IR transmitter on top. So you can use them as remotes for non-start TVs, non-smart TVs, and other appliances. Got a random free app. I use my remote. Pick your device manufacturer and type and try it out. Yeah, we did that at uh, we went to Fridays one time, and I don't think well at the time at least iPhones didn't have it, but Wise had a I guess an Android or whatever non-iPhones are called. And we went to Fridays, and we were like, "Hey, can we get the game on this TV?" And the bartender was like. Uh, they already asked for this game and wise was like, yeah, okay. And pulled up his app and controlled the TV, changed the channel. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, last one. Let's see. My GE refrigerator has Sabbath mode, whatever that is. I'd prefer black Sabbath mode. So that mode keeps the light off. If you open it, some sects of Judaism believe you cannot turn on lights on the Sabbath. And depending on how strictly you interpret that could mean you can't open the fridge door if that would turn the light on. I would just like to say that all Sabbaths matter. Mm -hmm. GE's catering for the the masses. Yeah, well, it's general environment, right? Thanks, I'm here all week. Actually, I'm not. I leave Friday. <laughs> It's also General Electric, right? G yeah. Well, that's what it, I was. You said oh, okay. to the masses, so I was. <laughs> so wait yeah. a minute, am I going crazy? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what beer are you drinking this week, David? It's been like a month since we discussed this. Yeah, this week. That's hmm. for the one person that's me who made it this far. Maybe Andy. Hey, Andy, how's it going? Not a. I uh, looked before we got on. We had four views. So oh. you, Andy, and. Sam Jones Apparently, or Eric. I don't know. Okay. I'm a little bit behind. Uh, this week from Tampa Bay Brewing Company, I have Gourds Gone Wild. Oh, I, that was my favorite commercial at like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> Gourds Gone Wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pum uh -huh. Pumpkin ale. Okay. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, it tastes like pumpkin? It does. I'll give it like a... Like pumpkin pie -y or like more like pumpkin spicy? Nah, just pump. Nah, neither. Just pumpkin. That that common pumpkin ale flavor. Uh, I'll give it a. What's by it again? Eight. I thought. What's no, that? You got to get a B to come back into your house. Okay, we'll give it a seven point six. Okay, it's all right. I'll it buy it the... again, but not till next year. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to, but. Do you guys roast your seeds? No. Uh, really? That's surprising. My, my dad did so growing good. up. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't a huge fan. I, I pulled the old uh, Alexa. Can dogs have pumpkin seeds? Hard no, I bet. Uh, it said they're not poisonous to dogs, but consult your veterinarian, blah, 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 no. blah, blah. No. So I said, hmm, okay. And Zelda <laughs> had a whole bunch. <laughs> Dude, they're so, man. So you just dri drizzle them with some olive oil? Sprinkle some salt on them when they come out of the oven. Mm. I don't hate them, but I don't know. Fresh roasted pumpkin seeds? Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 7.6. Okay. Okay, okay. So this week, finally, I got away from the uh, Michelob. I have a grapefruit and lime gauze. Goes. No. How did she say it? Gauze? She said uh, goes, I think. Goes. G-O-W-Z. Gauze is exactly what you're around after yeah. you get your original teeth out. So Google pronounced it as goes, which it's a German goes. G-O-S-E, not goose. I don't know who would think that. It's weird. Um, let's see. Limited release out of... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Six. Canadian. Mm. Ugh. At Three. least they put the uh, denomination <laughs> on their currency. <laughs> Cool can. Yeah, yeah, cool can. If it wasn't Canadian, I'd give it a higher score. But we're sticking with three? Eh, maybe a three and a half. It's okay. super, super bitter from the grapefruit. It is sour. All right, I'll give it a three, five. Three, five. I think you said that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's it. It's not that great. Okay. Okay. That's that, and no home done. <laughs> How bizarre. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'm ready for some rap. Okay. Well, in, in honor of the rap, um, mm -hmm. we don't have time to get into it, 
But okay. I think next episode, when the next episode comes out, I think it'll be the day before two years since getting them back. Oh, it's been that long. Holy shit. So we'll have to talk about that story on the next episode. Yeah, that was a man. Whew. Yeah, that was expensive, long, drawn out. Uh, Worth it. You love them, you love them. But well, hit, hit, hit us with some. Uh, why don't you preface with what we're about to listen to? Like what? So this we've is. talked about. We've talked about for a few weeks now doing some freestyles of the three girls. Picture, picture, picture. Uh, but we're white and we can't rap, so we had AI do it, and we have a rap written by Chris and a rap written by myself, and here they are. <laughs> Too mean, too pretty. Zelda's special. Bill's got my man. Rescue queen showing love, that's true. Each got the style, each got the game. When they rolling through the house, ain't never the same. First up is Jolene, the alpha, no fear. Short brown coat stands tall like her ear. She's the guard on duty when the doorbell rings. Barking loud, letting strangers know who run things. Poolside queen, always got a squeaky. Hiding in the bathtub, it's thunderstorms are freaky. Thunder shakes her up, snores louder than a train. But mess with her patch, she'll fuck you up with no shame. Jolene, Bell and Zelda, the pit bull crew. Three loyal girls showing love that's true from snoring to swimming and sometimes a fight rescue from the shelter and now they love life messed up zelda tan coat with some socks with ears like dobby yeah a little unorthodox sweet as they come wouldn't harm a fly barks at the castle when they move she runs and hides why did they go out just to want to come back in better pat her when she's ready or it's paws to the chin loves a butt scratch in your face she'll put a tush in she'll sleep anywhere but loves the couch cushion she's a little bit derpy but that's okay because she's good at mathematics she can count a potato Jolene, Bell, and Zelda, the pit bull crew Every one of them got their own point of view Chilling by the pool, basking in the sun Each one's a legend, all together they're one Last but not least, that's Baby Bell Came late to the party, but she fitting so well She's got a pretty blue coat, a little white on her paws When you walk through the door, she's bound to jump and hit your balls Swimming in the pool, pissing off her sisters Her whole body wiggles when you go and try to kiss She got that butt fat, her favorite thing to hear is this Hey, Belle, you wanna see your Uncle Chris? Yeah, Jolene, Belle, and Zelda, the Pickle Crew. Three rescue hearts, all loyal, that's true. From God in the house, to snoring at night. This pit packs love, is a beautiful sight. Three pit bull queens, all different, all strong. With the crooks and the charms, together they belong. From Jolene's pride to Zelda's retardation. The Bells buff fat, they went the pit bull nation. It's the pit bull crew, standing by my side. Forever loyal, with love and pride. Oh, they're chasing the squirrels. Yeah, they're on a roll. When well, them nubs hit the pole, they're out of control. Bell, Jolene, and Zelda, they make me smile. These little fur balls with the love so wild. Bell's wagging hard and her squeaks are loud. Jolene's prance pretty, she draws a crowd. Zelda's got her own beat, a rhythm so true. Together they shine in every little thing they do. Oh, they're chasing the squirrels. Yeah, they're on a roll. When them nubs hit the pole, they're out of control. Bell, Jolene, and Zelda, they make me smile. These little fur balls with the love so wild. Three little dogs, each a superstar In my heart, they are never far Belle, Jolene, and Zelda, wild and free Three little pups, my happy melody When them nums hit the pole, they're out of control. Bell, Jolene, and Zelda, they make me smile. These little fur balls with the love so wild. Three little dogs, each a superstar. In my heart, they are never far. Bell, Jolene, and Zelda, wild and free. Three little pops, my happy melody. Oh, 
it's so good. <laughs> oh man, I yeah, love that's it. phenomenal. I love it. Yeah, that's yeah. so good. I can't believe I, you didn't have Kayla listen to him yet. No, nah, not yet, not yet. Oh my god! So she's gonna, she's not gonna hear half it. She's gonna be dying laughing. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh man, that's so good. Oh, but, that's so good. The walk through the door, bound to jump and hit your balls. <laughs> I like how the one that you they labeled three little dogs has a picture of four dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it gave me and i think the fourth dog in the back right doesn't have a body it's just probably not yeah i think this is ai music and video mm-hmm. or image so oh so good man mm. yeah that's uh that's what we're doing i think i'm gonna make a uh like a, a poor choices beats channel and just like post all our music to that i like that one question i do have is yeah are you coming for Thanksgiving? If I was a magic eight ball and like you shook me, <laughs> Outlook is good. Okay. You know who Outlook isn't good for? Esports nerds. Because they don't get dates or emails or turkeys. They just eat ass because they fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> oh, peace. <laughs> they don't eat turkeys, they eat ass. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Mungu wungu. Uh. Uh, Lord. That and no harm done. done. Well. <laughs>